Red Diamond is too loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Diamond Studios video. Rich and poor parents swap daughters. What happens next is shocking. Now before we get into the video guys, I would like to say thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you are not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell to stay tuned. Thank again for letting Maria come to work with me today, Mr. Castaneda. <laughs> come on, Miguel. You should know better than that. Call me George, please. You know, and of course, she's welcome anytime. My daughter Estrella should be here any second now, so you'll have somebody to hang out with. Hey, honey, I was just talking about you. How are you, babe? Good. Mm, excellent. Maria, this is my beautiful daughter, Estrella. Estrella, this is my longtime employee and good friend, Miguel, and his daughter, Maria. And I believe you girls are around the same age. Dad, mm -hmm. there is a yacht party this Saturday night, and all my friends are going to go. So She's not going to say hi or nothing or introduce, like, she's not going to be polite and speak to them. She just care about her yacht party. Can I please go? Let's see. Oh. I'm very sorry, honey, but the company gala is on Saturday as well. And you know, the whole family has to be there. No, I don't want to go to another dumb gala. Well, Estrella, sometimes okay. people have to do things they don't want to. You're the heir to this company, okay, honey? So the least you can do is mingle with the board members and the stakeholders. I don't even know what a stakeholder is. Maria, does your dad force you to go to family events? See? Estrella. Do you know how fortunate you are? Do right, you, do you know how fortunate? Your grandfather bust in his back to build this company, to create financial wealth and security for all of us. So the least you can do is this much at least. You feel all obligated to do things you don't want to do, but you can't force me to live like that. Ugh. Gosh, <laughs> I'm glad you're not like Estrella, Maria. What do you mean? Did you see what she was wearing? I wish I was more like her. Dad, can we go to the mall after this so I can shop, please? Maria, you know that my paycheck is barely covering rent as it is. Besides, even if we could afford it, I promise you, all that material stuff wouldn't make you happy. Of course you would say that. Typical poor person mindset. I wish you were more like Mr. Castaneda. Estrella gets to go to these galas and wear designer clothes. What do I get? Mr. Castaneda is the owner of the company. Right. I'm just the janitor. Well, can't you ask for a promotion? You never ask for help, but you need it. Being rich is in everything, though. Your dress is so pretty. I wish I could dress like that. And I wish that I wasn't a part of this stupid family empire. All the obligations are so annoying. Hey, Miguel. I just wanted to apologize. I'm so embarrassed by how Estrella behaved in front of you guys. That was wrong, you know? She, she just takes everything for granted. She doesn't know how good she has it. That's the problem. Maria's just as bad. She always wants things we can't afford. Hey, Miguel, if you want, I can talk to HR and I can get you more pay. No, 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 you just gave me a raise. And I know all the high-level positions here require a master's degree, so I understand. And I would've took that. If he given me another raise, I would've took that, what? But, but it's okay. <laughs> One day, Maria will realize on her own, hopefully. Well, hopefully, yeah. I don't know about Estrella. Maybe I should just drop her off so she can live in this small apartment in Grimsworth, you know? That way she'll realize how good she has it in comparison to most people. You can always use my place. Oh, I I'm sorry, Miguel, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't take it that way. <sighs> yeah, sometimes I wish that Maria could experience the high life so she can see it's not all it seems. Maybe we should switch daughters. Hey. <laughs> huh. Oh. Estrella, I just got a notification. We need to go now. You have singing lessons and then afterwards, tennis lessons. Ugh. 
I just need 15 more minutes, Maria. Then we can walk to the bus stop. When is your car getting out of the shop? Next week. That's what you said last week. I'm tired of taking the bus. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, my done now. You didn't even try. Excuse me? We're paying way too much money for you to waste your lesson on your phone. How am I wasting your money? You guys are the ones forcing me to do pointless activities that I hate. Why can't I just hang out with my friends? Honey, you have plenty of time to hang out with your friends. We are just trying to expose you to different opportunities so you can be well-rounded. That's right. That's all. Less fortunate kids would kill for this opportunity. Less fortunate kids aren't forced to do things they don't want to do. I'd rather be one of them. Hey. <sighs> Teenagers, am I right? You know, we're really sorry, but we'll see you Friday. Sure. What is going on with Estrella? I don't know. I'm so disappointed in her behavior lately. Especially in front of our vocal coach. What's wrong with that? <laughs> We're going to have to send some. I mean, the only thing I could think of is um, they gave her everything while she was growing up. So she doesn't know how to appreciate the little things, you know? Fruit basket or something to smooth things over, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know what's interesting? I just can't help but to think about how appreciative Miguel's daughter would be to have all these experiences that Estrella gets to have. Yeah. I just wish we could find a way for Estrella to be more appreciative, <laughs> like Miguel's daughter is. <laughs> we should send her to Miguel's for a month and bring his daughter here. Well, not a bad that's idea. Very funny you mentioned that. Do you know that Miguel mentioned exactly the same thing to me? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> hmm. I've been looking forward to this bonnet all week. <laughs> Don't sleep on these little dollar face masks. They work. Which one do you want, Maria? What I want is an actual spa day with facials and massages. One day, I want to go to dinner at a nice restaurant or a party on a yacht or even a luxury shopping spree. That's what I want. Well, until that day comes, at least we have our little spa day here. We can still have a fancy dinner. I know how to make ramen high-end with a few extra ingredients. Don't you guys want more? You're pretending. I mean, I feel like if the daughter wanted more, she can. she's old enough to start her own business, not depend on her father's income, you know, and pressure her father into trying to get a raise or trying to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you really want more, you're old enough to make something happen. Why don't you do that? to be happy we're not pretending money and status aren't everything girl well it is to me maybe i just need friends who think on the same level look i don't want to do this whole spa day thing anymore i think it's best we hang out another she she don't want to hang with them no more because they're not thinking how she thinking time was pretty hurtful, Maria. You didn't have to talk to them like that. Look, your friends may not have money either, but they're genuine and they care about you. Right. And they have They're not fake and snobby friends. All dreams. You know, if you have such big dreams, you could always get a job instead of relying on me. You are old Does enough Does Estrella need a job? I didn't think so. I know what will cheer you up. Mr. Castaneda invited us to the company gala. Sounds fun, right? Are you crazy? I'm not going to that. I don't even have a dress. It'd be embarrassing. Wait, where are you going? What about...
Estrella, do you know why I've called this meeting here with your parents? How am I supposed to know? You're the one who called the meeting, not me. <clears throat> You've broken the dress code 15 times this month. That's unacceptable here at McKinley Prep. I don't even understand why we have to wear uniforms. You might as well put us in orange jumpsuits. As you know, part of the protocol at a private institution is uniformity. Exactly. Public school seems like a dream compared to this prison. Estrella, please. What? I don't understand how these stupid uniforms and volunteering are supposed to help me in the real world. Most what? of the girls who've graduated from here have, have gone on to be socialites, housewives, country club members. Save the spill. Private school is a waste of money when there's public schools that are just as it. good right Walk down the street. How you doing, honey? I'm ready to leave. We're clearly out of place here and it's embarrassing. Can we not do this tonight? <laughs> wow, you look amazing. Thanks. I feel like crap, though. You have no idea how much I hate these galas. Hi, Maria. How are you? Excellent. Estrella, Mr. and Mrs. Percy, you know, the very important board members, they're here. So please come and say hi with me, okay? No, thanks. I don't feel like being fake today. Um, hey, teenagers, looking? you know how they are. Okay, Estrella, please stop joking around and come with me right now to say hi. <sighs> this way. Ungrateful, man. Hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you go mingle? I saw some girls. Dad, I'm not gonna make a fool out of myself. I feel like the poor girl ungrateful too because her dad is like trying to make her happy and he's doing the best he could do. And she got genuine friends that care about her, you know what I'm saying? But all she care about is having the finer things in life, I guess. I'm tired of being the poorest person in the room. This is so embarrassing. Estrella, I asked you to do one thing, one thing only, and you just find a way to embarrass. That's a lie. Try a zillion things. I can't even breathe around you. Everything's either about the family image or the family name. What about what I want? It's not about what you want, Estrella. The family name is more important than anything else. In fact, is what maintains this lavish lifestyle of yours, in case you forgot. It's like you want to be poor forever. Why don't you just swallow your pride and ask Mr. Castaneda for a raise or even a promotion? I believe in hard work, not handouts, Maria. Look, we are doing just fine. Right, he believes in hard work, not handouts. Right, you have food on the table, clothes on your back. I give everything I earn to make sure you have everything you need. Well, I am so sorry if I want more from life. Why can't you be more like Estrella's dad? Whoa, whoa, everybody stop, okay? Dang. <laughs> Miguel, when you mentioned the other day, you know, the idea about switching daughters, were you serious? I mean, it's not a bad idea. They both seem to want what the other one has. Apparently. But I don't think... I'll do it. I wouldn't even give it a second thought. Yeah, I'll do whatever it takes to get out of this prison. Okay, then. Let's say for 30 days, Maria will be living with us. And Estrella will live with me. Yes, that's amazing. You have no idea how much I've been wanting more freedom. Same, I'm so tired of living on a cheap budget all the time. Well, girls, be very careful what you wish for because the grass is not always greener on the Ew. other side. Oh, I am sure it is greener where you live. Yeah, mm. I don't care what color the grass is, as long as I can get out of this nightmare. Okay, oh, go ahead. Good luck if you ever want to go out with your friends. Good at luck every single day. <laughs> wow. It's not much, but it's cozy. And most importantly, it's home. The real question is, do I have to wake up early? Or do I have anywhere to go? Outside of school? No, not really. As long as you get your...
Yeah, see, that's the thing she wants. She do, She's tired of being told, oh, come to this meeting with me or Met Gala or singing lessons. Like, she, if she want to go to public school, she don't like the uniforms. Your homework done. You can do what you want. <sighs> Thank God. The first thing I'm going to do tomorrow, I'll sleep in. And I think I'm going to have a girl's day, but did my parents send you any money for me? I need, like, 300 Oh, um, no. They didn't send me anything. Technically, you're my responsibility for the next 30 days, and sadly, I don't have $300. Uh, you could always get a job. I was gonna have Maria get one. A job? Seriously? Yeah, there's a diner in town that's hiring, Darla's. I don't think she gonna like that very much. My friend's the owner. I'm sure he'd hire you. <sighs> Welcome. <gasps> Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it's all yours to enjoy for the next 30 days. Mm -hmm. But you should get some sleep. You have a big day tomorrow. Why, what's happening? See for yourself. As you can see, based on your schedule, you have to set your alarm for 4 a.m. You're gonna do morning oh. yoga first, and then we're hey. gonna make our way to the country club for breakfast. Good night, sweetheart. See you in the morning. Good night. She on a schedule. She got a lot of activities. I'll be honest. You're young with not a lot of experience. So Dang, she I, got, for experience, she got helping my dad with shopping. Can't offer you the waitress position, but I can hire you for a dishwasher part-time. <laughs> a dishwasher? Do you know who I am? I'm Estrella Castaneda, as in the daughter of George Castaneda. Let me enlighten you on how the world works. Name dropping is not going to get you the job. Right. You have to earn it. So the dishwashing role still stands. Take it or leave it. Yeah, it don't matter who your dad is. You can't use that. <laughs> <gasps> Jennifer, oh. darling, it's been so long. Oh. It's divine to see you. Oh, likewise. With all the galas and events, we hardly had time to breathe. Oh, I'm sure. The Costanita Foundation is the talk of the town. <laughs> but let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? Who is this pretty little thing, and what have you done with our Estrella? Ah, uh, well, this is Maria. She's a family friend who is staying with us, and Estrella is away doing some self-discovery. So important for a girl her age. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure, Maria. Tell me, what is it that you like to do? What are your future plans? Um, I don't know, maybe be a beauty influencer or something? <laughs> She means chief marketing officer. We've already talked about it. Well, that's wonderful, Maria. And listen, darling, if that doesn't work out, you can always do what we did and find yourself a very rich man. <laughs> <laughs> that's all they live by is like, oh, the only way I'm going to be successful is if I get a rich man. No, like women can have a mind of their own and build for themselves. Oh, my goodness. Excuse us for a moment. I just saw Betty walk in with the new Chanel Kelly bag. I have so many questions. Oh, honey, go for something lighter. You don't want up here. Did she say go for something lighter? I'm bridled to the other women. I don't understand. I'm just eating breakfast. Um... And I will have our chef make you a full course lunch to make up for it, okay? It's just part of the game we have to play. We're part of a very prestigious family and we must watch our every move. Wow. It's good for other rich women that married rich men. Like, the women aren't really rich, it's their man that's rich. To look good for them kind of people? No way. I'm so happy you guys don't have uniforms. Freedom of expression. Yeah, no uniforms here. We uh, really don't see the point. I'm so glad you guys get it. So where's the salad bar? 
or sushi? They don't have a- Oh no, we barely have regular lunch here. State budget cuts are a killer for public schools. What about student services, like yoga or Pilates class? Or iPads for the kids? They don't have all that. Sorry, this is much different than what you're used to at McKinley Prep. Yeah, much different. Hey, how's brunch? <sighs> Good, but I'm still hungry. Well, you can eat more after Daniels. We're running late now, we gotta go. Uh, wait, what? No, I'm so tired. I've been up since four. I was thinking about taking a nap, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a nap? There's no time for a nap. We gotta play tennis. Then you have violin lessons. Then you have chess lessons. Then we have oh, to great. meet with the neighbors, you know, to play some pickleball. Then you have to go to the gym. Then we have to go through the whole homework. Which is <laughs> for a minute in the quiet, it feels like it was before. I get lost just for a moment Thinking I'm not where I am And I didn't want to feel this way Tired of being out of place Give me a one-way ticket out of here someplace I know I can't be happy It's not in my head I can sit and cry about reasons why I'm Something in the wind wasn't meant to be pulled apart From everything I knew like golden leaves When it's their time to fall But I didn't want to feel this way Tired of being out of place Give me a one-way ticket out of here someplace I know I can't be happy It's not in my head Hello. She miss her simple life. Hey, start getting ready. We have a press event to go to. What? No, do I have to? I'm so tired. I've been doing stuff all day. Yes, of course you have to go. You reminded me of Estrella right now. Isn't this what you wanted? honestly think it's overboard to have a busy schedule like that as a uh, a kid in school you know what i'm saying mr chairman i have a unanimous consent request here's ricky at seven Very hey little... you all right i just feel trapped even after working all week i have no money i can't even hang out with my friends because i have no time and if i have to eat one more public school lunch i'm gonna die well, why don't you invite your friends over here? You guys could have a slumber party. No offense, but I don't think I'd invite them over here. You seem sad. I thought this is what you wanted, Estrella. Freedom, public schools, a simple life. I thought so too, but now I'm not so sure. I'll get it, Maria. You just finished getting ready, okay? Because we have to meet Jennifer in 15 minutes exactly. Let's hurry up. Estrella! What are you doing here, honey? I couldn't do it anymore, Daddy. I miss our life. I miss you guys. I miss being Castaneda. Oh, we miss you so much, and we're glad to have you back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Maria! Dad! Uh -oh. oh. I'm so sorry about everything. You were right. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. I see it, too. It's okay, girls. It's okay, because I've learned some things myself. 
I was so caught up in this image thing, you know, living up to my grandpa's name that I didn't realize how much pressure I was putting on you. And for that, I'm really, really sorry. In fact, we can eliminate some of your extracurricular activities, and we could even enroll you in a public school if it's you okay. wish. It's okay, Dad. McKinley isn't that bad. Plus, kind of like my extracurricular activities. And it's much better than washing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. I decided that I'm going to look for a second job no. so that I could... Dad, it's okay. I'm grateful for everything we have. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, here. Miguel, I forgot to tell you something. Our facilities director position is vacant, and it doesn't require a master's degree. So if you're interested, I would love to offer it to you. And of course, it comes with a big pay raise as well. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Thank you, George, I'd love that. Deal, then. <laughs> Excellent. Deal. Oh, well, uh, this has been an experience. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do it again someday. No! <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> that was a good lesson learned, though. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.